What's up everybody, welcome back to Green Charts Gaming, my name is AJ, and I was just kind of partying a little bit, because we, oh, fell in the water. We just beat that evil pig, and if you remember last time, we started, uh, we ended, actually, on the waterfall of the heavens area, but I forgot to talk to this lady over here. She has something important for us. Ah, the outside world Well, not really. Great. You're the one who's breaking the water plants all over the world. Yep, the you world. You also broke the water plant that was holding... Yep. So if you remember, last time I broke the water In plant return, up where I the pig nose panels are. Precious thing. To the rightmost area of this uh, water temple. So that's the last one over there, should be. So, she's gonna give us this. It frees her. It's called the Mermaid Bucket and can be used to carry hot or cold water as often as you like. Cool. Now you won't have to use the faucet to collect hot or cold water. Make good use of it. Alright, so now we have that bucket. I don't know what we're gonna use it for since we already uh, bloomed all the flowers. Uh, we already gave water to the thirsty dudes. I don't know what we're gonna use it for, but that's there. It's basically a, an unlimited bucket of water. You don't need to use faucets anymore. But, anyway, now we're done with that. Today's episode, we are going to hopefully. Um. Oh, not load data. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, I was thinking. So, we're gonna go and get the Tower of uh, Courage. And then we're gonna beat a few evil pigs, maybe two, this episode. Don't quote me on that, because remember last time I was like, yeah, we're not gonna do any evil pigs today. But we ended up doing uh, killing that water pig. So, main goal right now, we're gonna go to the underground mine, the trolley entrance. This is where we're gonna, where we're gonna start our journey towards the uh, hidden tower of courage. Yeah. And since we're here, we're just gonna grab the normal fruit real quick, since we already have the white key. We're just gonna laugh our way through this door. Like a crazy person. Like a maniacal, bloodthirsty, pink-haired pig person. Aha! Now, the normal fruit. As you guys remember, if you do remember. I don't know if you do, but... <laughs> It uh, cures you of the laughing and crying state, so you just use that. I wonder why they couldn't just make it like the uh, the Minita fruit that we got. You know, one fruit does all, it shrinks you and returns you back to normal. I guess you can only have two attributes per item for, I guess that's what the game developers had to uh, do to make it feasible. So we're going back to the coal mining town since we only have half the spell of courage that we got from that dark room where we gave those 20 fireflies to that guy at the water temple. So now if you remember, this lady, we helped his, uh, at the circus village, we helped her son. So let's talk to her. You found a get well plant for me! Oh! Yeah! Thank you! Everything's healed just fine! Sounds great! What's that on your bed? <laughs> Thanks to you, my mother's injury is all healed. Thanks, Tomba. It's either like a bug on her bed or like a joint or it's just... <laughs> it's just one of the legs clipping through. <laughs> anyway, you're welcome. Now give us the song. Give us our song. Oh, I forgot. I have ancient words of courage to pray for your safe journey. Cool. Anytime. Cool, thanks. Now, we could go back to the cafeteria and make some more sandwiches, but we don't need it anymore since uh, we have the normal fruit and the minita fruit. I guess we only need like hash potato or I mean dried 
uh, fish sandwiches to help us just in case we're invisible. But we can always oh got stuck. We can always kill the evil pig that did it to us, uh, that made us invisible, so we can go back to normal. So we don't really need any sandwiches unless you know free health, just in case we fight evil pigs. Which reminds me, do we have any lunch boxes? We have a healthy lunch box. We got two hash potato sandwiches, just in case we decide to fight the evil pig, which is nearby. The ghost pig is like right to our left, below the pipes. Anyway, we're gonna use the spell of courage, and this is where you find the hidden tower. Just gonna, there's this ledge right here, which curiously you can land on. But yeah, and it opens. Boom! That's how you get in. So if you have the spells, you just go all the way, you spawn, you can go fly to the uh, trolley stop and it's all the way to the right, just go right. So if I remember, this is a little puzzle uh, challenge where you have to get to the top. Last time it was like a maze, now it's like you gotta have the uh, mystery mushroom because there are these laughing and crying doors. But first, you wanna go through the crying door first. Because, you know, it's sad and it needs company. I'm going in. And next, you want to alternate. So the next, the first one was uh, crying. The next one is laughing. And you want to do this laughing door, not that one. So go here. Then it should be easy. Just use the mystery mushroom again. And go in through the door. Should advance, uh, advance to the third floor, and we just left. So it's alternating. So go through the crying door, which should be the middle, right? Yeah, that's the only crying door here. So let's go through this. Use the mystery mushroom again, and you're also gonna need the minita fruit from the uh, little tiny mouses house at the starting beach because you need to go through here, the small door, not the big door. The big door will send you all the way back to the bottom. You need, definitely need, the Manita Mushroom. And Tomba has to take his clothes off, because, you know, if he shrinks, he's gonna suffocate <laughs> in his pig suit. So, now we went through the, uh, Laughing, er, wait, what did we go through again? We went through the crying door. Wait, I don't remember. Wait, 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 let me. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Oh, we went through the crying door last time because the first, okay, yeah. So now you go through the laughing door. And you don't need to go back to normal size, you just need to uh, use the mushroom. And this should be the last door. So you go in. <laughs> Even though I didn't... If you can't remember which one you did, you just use the mystery mushroom because it just alternates from the last uh, laughing or crying state. <laughs> Man. Alright, anyway. Let's open this chest. But we're too small. So we do ha need the uh, Minita fruit again. It's right here. The Minita mushroom, excuse me. And now we can open chests. And boom, we got the Glacier Boomerang. And since we just got the normal fruit, I can show you what the Glacier Boomerang does. Basically, it's a bigger Ice Boomerang. And it's awesome. Wait, I wonder if we can go through here just to go back to the bottom. Uh, I could use Baron, but doesn't matter. Let's see. No, let's just use Baron. Instead of going through all the doors again, you can just use Baron. Go through the large mine underground. Trolley entrance. And we're gonna fight the ghost pig, which is just right next to the tower. But I want to show you what this thing can do. It's awesome. We might also do the earth pig. Since... 
you know, ice is good against earth. I don't know if you play Pokemon or not. <laughs> but you see, it only takes one hit from the ice boomerang. I wonder if the cappers take one hit too. Boom. Nope. No, they do not. Only the evil pigs get one hit. So, that's kind of useless. <laughs> not really. What I want to do is switch to our squirrel clothes so we don't die because we got to do some spelunking. Oh. All right. I could just do this. All right. Whoa, we actually latch onto the pig, flying pigs. I forgot. Boom. All right. So what you want to do is go down here with the grappling hook. Or the grapple, sorry. I keep calling it the grappling hook. Basically the same thing. Um, I, like I said, I never knew you could do this. I think on the game art behind the, uh, the game box, it shows Tomba doing this. So that was the only hint I got. So this is going to be the ghost pig with one of the most awesome music uh, scores or tracks of the game. I think Game Grumps uses it, or who is it, JonTron? Somebody uses it for their videos. Oh no, it's uh, Achievement Hunter. Yeah, toward the end where it shows their logo, the green logo. There's like this in the background, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds like it. Who's there? Yeah. And yeah, she, she's a lady too, even though she sounds like a man. Yeah, me. Will break you. you. Know that I eat people with hope for breakfast? Really? How how can you tell it's morning here? A curse on And that hand, what's wrong with your hand? Is that supposed to be like a cultural thing with ghosts? Boom. And it's kinda of difficult because the uh, angle toward the back is weird. So you're in front of the back. I kind of want to explore this place, actually. I've never been around. I might die. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Yeah, th this is why you don't want to give her some time, because she freaking spawns ghosts. So, there you go. Let's use the Frost Boomerang against her. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, look at this place. What? What? What, what you want? Oh shoot, <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of wasting time. Alright, let's get one more in. I kind of want to look, look around your, your house, lady. Just let me... Oh shit, what is that? It's slowing me down. I've never seen this before. Uh oh. Oh, I am cursed. Not anymore. Let me get a sandwich. So she is one of the more difficult uh, ghosts to beat if you're just screwing around. <laughs> pretty all the ghosts are all the pigs are pretty easy to beat since you just throw them in a bag three times. Oh, oh shoot! She has a dash as well. I'm just kind of showing you, kind of getting to know her a little bit. <laughs> Let's go over here, because I doubt anybody actually goes through the whole level. I just want to appreciate what the developers did, you know? So I guess that's it. You want to go opposite the bag, so when it goes up... Oh, never mind, I spoke too soon. kind of want to time it right. Just do what you can. Boom. And it's gonna miss, because... Yeah. Fine, it's fine. <laughs> she too high. Too high. Too high again. And I love this ice boomerang. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Ooh, whoop. And it's gonna hit. Yeah. 
There we go. We got our first pig for the day. And it's only been 15 minutes. <laughs> I guess we have time for another one. Cool. You did it, Tomba! Duh. Put on this robe and you can Yep, and she says the same thing. Or is Zippo's a guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> he says the same thing. Boom, look at that, yo, look at that. Now we can actually swim in that water and it gives us access to the evil flame pig. Which we're not gonna do right now. We're gonna do the earth pig, because I for forgot, I, I just remembered actually. We can go through the Kajara Ranch area and complete the Tower of Wisdom thing over there. So we can get all three awesome weapons. So let's go to the our ranch, ranch area, and beat the evil earth pig next. I mean, like, because we can. It's efficient. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like a... Uh, nothing against Germans, but I know they're all about preciseness. <laughs> Efficiency. I don't know if that's a stereotype. It probably is. I apologize for anyone who's German who happened to come across this video. <laughs> you should take it as a compliment. <laughs> I mean it as a compliment. You guys are efficient. Get things done quick. Oh, shoot. If you're gonna do a job, do it, you know. Not half-assed, just stop taking breaks you don't need to take. Just do it until it's done. I mean, don't burn yourself out trying to finish the job, but you know, don't take breaks just because you can. I mean, that's my philosophy. Die! Alright, so Earth Pig, you here? Yep, he's up there. Alright, what do we want to do? Hey, it's the Tower of Strength. We want to fly. Oh, I, I see. We got a seesaw up to it. So, maybe we need to use one of those birds as a... There we go. No, we don't. No, the earth pig is fat. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> That's what I remember from, from the earth pig. And cutscene, unskippable. And those uh, ledges, I think they break if you go onto them. So... We're not going to do that, we're just going to do a quick quick run through. When I first fought these pigs, man, it took me a while, I got lots of game overs because I was so scared. And I was like, what, seven? I didn't know you could just keep going over and over. Bob, what is some kid acting tough? You just got to watch their patterns. What's expected, this? Look at you, been starving yourself in the world out there. <laughs> British accent. You need more nutrition, like us. Oh really? Okay. What? Still want to have to me? Uh, fake British. Okay. I'll tell you something about us. Don't be surprised now. We're seventy-eight percent. Seventy-eight percent fat. 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 Seventy-eight percent. Nearly all fat. Surprise. You're like, you're like ninety percent, dude. Tell me true. You were making fun of us. Words. Yes, yes. Yeah. I cannot lie. I won't stand for it. Taste my beer. See how it goes down. Yeah. No. No, thank you. I don't want my arteries to get clogged. So you're gonna go over here since the thing with this pig bag is it wants to go behind pillars. Oh shoot. And it's really close, so it, it moves around, which is good. You and I have a clear shot of it. I think it just goes back and forth. Yep, it does. Come on, give me a good angle on you, piggy. So speedrunners will hate this too, cause the pig likes to uh, spawn above you, and there's not many platforms unless you go to the pillars, which give you an extra obstacle. They kind of block the view. Oh, that's perfect. Oh shoot. Uh oh, uh oh. Everything's shaking. Stuff's breaking. My heart's ache. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, let's get a sandwich in here. 
And it's a good thing uh, the, the whole game pauses for you just to have this little snack. You're like, okay, Tomba, you wanna eat? Go ahead. We're gonna take five. <laughs> five seconds. <laughs> okay, you good? You good? Okay. On to fighting again. Resume the carnage. I always thought that was kind of weird. And convenient, too, because you, you don't have to worry about him attacking you while you... while you feast. There we go. What's up? You trying to... trying to bust a spell out? Oh, come on! Yeah, the Earth Pigs. Uh, not my favorite. Takes a while. Once he gets his spells out, it gets really gnarly. Ooh. When was the last time you heard gnarly used in a sentence before? <laughs> ah, come on! That's so close! Alright, alright. Alright, focus. Where'd he go? Oh. Good laugh, good laugh. And... Wasabi time. And go up, go up, go up. Yeah! Alright. Did I just say wasabi time? <laughs> I don't know. I like the word wasabi. I also like wasabi with soy sauce and uh, ginger, pickled ginger, and put a little bit of kimchi in there maybe, or shiraka, something to spice it up even more, you know, to uh, mix with the actual wasabi, and you know, dip sushi in it, or grilled fish. Oh my god, I love grilled fish. You guys remember I said something about grilled squid? Grilled fish is awesome too. And if you haven't had grilled crab yet, like grilled with a shell still on, like whole crab just grilled, oh my god, you're missing out. You're missing out on life, yo. Did I, say, did I just say yo? Yo. I don't care. Yo. You did it, Toma! Just like the 90s when this game was made. <laughs> Put on this robe, and you can use some of the evil pictures. Yep, and he says the same thing, and guess what? It's been, what, 22 minutes? And we beat two evil pigs, and now these circus guys are back to normal. They're humans again. Who else but the evil earth pig would turn people into fat pigs <laughs> as well? I guess they were making fun of them, because, you know, they're clowns, and they love fun, <laughs> I guess. Alright, so now that's done, we can go ahead and unlock the Tower of Huizdom. Uh, I was trying to get that uh, thing up there. The blue chest, but eh, we don't need to. Let's grab a potato. Whoa. And I think we're gonna do the Tower of Wisdom before we end the episode. We're gonna unlock that. If I remember correctly, it is, um, hmm, where was it? Let me remember. And by remember, I mean, <laughs> um, okay. Clicking around the screen. <laughs> so what we want to do here is kill these guys, God damn it. And these rocks you can actually break with the torch hammer now, so you get that, you know, extra pointy points, which is cool. And you get to kill these guys. Oop. Let's talk to Fam real quick, see how he's doing since everything's all back to normal. Not any, not much evil picks up here since they have the uh, Toradakos, the oil, uh, the tiger. Tiger, spiders, whatever, tiger things. What's up, fam? Hey, boys! Did you see it? The ranch! The evil pig's magic has been dispelled. Yeah, and this only this can only be trigger triggered if you uh, beat the evil ice pig. You boys beat him, didn't you? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. But there's just one little problem that's happened. What? What? I'm really happy that you boys dispelled the evil pig's magic. But... But now that it's gotten warm outside, I have to clip the hair on the Kujara. <laughs> clip the hair on the Kujara? Yes, their hair grew out during the cold spell, but while I was clipping the first two, the other three ran off and I am at wit's end. Why do you need them anyway? We already got the dong dongle. The... If 
if I don't clip their hair too. We already we, we already got the gondola open. I, yeah, I guess you just want to torture them. Maybe he needs the hair for the uh, for making clothes for the winter or to sell. You know, since this is a legitimate legitimate business. Excuse me. Excuse me. There you go. <laughs> So the Kujaras are basically in the same place where you got them, but they're not encased in ice anymore. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just ooh, okay. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Ooh. <laughs> got a little scared there. And I think you can. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Um, we're gonna have a game over right now. Sorry guys. So this is what happens when you fall into the abyss. <laughs> There's a game over. And I'm just gonna cut back to where, you know, up, up there. So don't worry about it. Alright, sorry guys, now we're back here, <laughs> I got nicked by one of those little Toradakos, and again, ah, it's so annoying, sorry about that, anyway, now that we've been around, we can finally grab this, grab this, grab that, and... I remember correctly the uh wait where was it it's not here there's one more down there by the uh sculptors okay i was wondering where the last one was all right so you can go down here i'm kind of disappointed that we had one game over i was hoping to go through this whole playthrough without a game over you know having done all those mini games all in one try and Using all, up all our sandwiches during those boss boss fights, <laughs> but oh well, we're I I am human after all, and I wasn't well. I was planning to do like a non-death <laughs> walk through uh, playthrough, but well, uh, what happens happens. I mean, I'm bringing you the honest, the most honest let's play I can. <laughs> Anyway. Hey, you brought them back. Well, let's get started clipping hair. All right then. Get on to business. And everybody in the Kajara ran Ranch looks buffer or thinner without their coats. All right. All right. Here you go. The little Choco. I mean, uh, Kajaras. <laughs> All right, next one. Here you go. Hopefully they do a little dance for us or something. Just to show that they're happy. Oh man, look how much fur. They look like little al almonds now. All right. Now they'll be cool enough to run around without worry. Little almond birds. No, you've really been a help. Now those critters can relax and enjoy life too. Sure, after all that electricity torture you did through the winter. You boys have truly been a big help. Is there anything I can give you in return? Sure. How about a spell? We have a traditional saying. I guess it's kind of an incantation. So everybody knows this since it's traditional? I could have just asked anybody. I could have asked those three little brats in the cave that did hide and seek. What was that? I don't understand the details, but it feels like the words are incomplete. Uh huh. The words appear to conceal some big secret. Really? Boys, try to solve the riddle as you go on your adventures. We're counting on your success. Now we have the full wisdom spell, which is cool. Alright, so Kajar's are good, everybody's good. Let's go grab that awesome, uh, awesome thingy. <laughs> Weapon. At, I think it's in the deep forest. I think so. So what you need is the flying squirrel suit and a grapple. Yes, it's here. Yep. And everything's nice. But the ghost pigs are still here for some reason. 
just in case you haven't done that ice uh, ice candy challenge, the game allows for that, I guess. Having the pig still in their original places even after being defeat, uh, having their masters defeated. They're still ghosts for some reason. Yep, there's that pig. Boom. Spooky. At least here, if you fall on the spikes, you don't get a game over. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, there you go. Ooh, I kind of want to get that blue chest. Just curious, you know? Might have a pot of life. Nope. Oh, we could use the sandwich. Oh. Hey. Ah, screw you. No, you're not gonna get me! Ah, uh, just out of reach. Awesome. Let's see if we can open this so we don't have to go back here. Yeah! Alright, cool. So, how many do we have? Oh, I mean how much, not how many. Oh, we have two million already? So we can unlock everything. Cool. Alright. So you want to go over here where the rock crab slash turtle was and use the tower uh, spell of wisdom. Voila. And you use the second part. And there we go. If you don't have the grapple, you can't do this, because this is grapple intensive. Intensive. What's down there? I hope, I hope you don't get a game over. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, it's a little catching mechanism just in case you fall. Which, of course, might happen since I'm such a klutz. Wah. There we go. I kind of want to do this with the... Uh, the fly, uh, the winged, the winged suit, <laughs> the winged clothes, the flying bird, bur, ugh, the bird clothes, just for a challenge. Oop. And from what we've learned in that, uh, in the Kajara Ranch area where we got those fireflies, you gotta go to the edge. So it makes it easier. Come on. Boom. Alright, you gotta be at the top of your jump to get that. Alright, not bad. Whoa. Is that, a, is that a climbable wall? No, it isn't. So I guess we gotta run. Jump, fly, 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 fly. Oh, there we go. Go over here. Latch onto that. Grapple onto this. Hopefully that gliding thing didn't drop us too low that we, we're now just going through the same area we've been before. And voila! Willie. And of course you need a, a hammer. Oh, not this one. This one. And it's a white chest. We get the Doka Pin! Woo! Awesome! Basically, Doka Pin is a combination of the uh, grapple and the uh, the mace, the ball and chain, the jack. And it, it basically, it's a one-shot. Now it can actually dam damage enemies. I think it's a one-shot. Let's, let's check it out. Downstairs. All right. There you go. So now we have all three of the awesome, I want to say legendary weapons, but you know, the strongest OP weapons in the game. Technically, they are legendary. Oh, come on, I wanted that. Uh, no, it's stuck. <laughs> anyway, next episode, we're gonna beat the evil flame pig. Uh, and do some other stuff. So, yeah. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the next episode of Green Shorts Gaming. My name is AJ, and thanks for watching. Oh, he doesn't twerk as good as the pig suit. Ah. Oh well. <laughs>